All right, enough of that. Let's go. <clears throat> it's going to be a long one today. Strap in. It's best of seven. Um, it should be interesting. They used Cole Reagans twice in the uh, ALDS. To get past the Yankees, so um, he's not going to be available until game three, maybe. So if we don't go to game seven, we only got to face Cole Reagans one time. So that's that's good for us. And you say, why is that good for us? Well, Cole Reagans, ninety-five overall, was uh, nine only nine and seven, but pitched really well during the regular season. Has great numbers. Pitch clutch is a bit low. Um, so we're going to start with Alec Marsh, then Brady Singer, Seth Lugo, won 19 games. He's not even in the rotation for the playoffs. Uh, Michael Waka is. So I don't know what they're doing here, but yeah, whatever, it's not my problem. We, on the other hand, are going with the same rotation we had last round. Burns, Garcia, Freed, and Estes, which means Estes only has to pitch once if we go seven games. These three guys would go twice each. So hopefully we don't have to go seven. And on the other side, Philadelphia leads Milwaukee one nothing. So imagine if it's Utah and Milwaukee in the World Series. How weird would that be? All right. Let's get in here and uh, get this going. At Kansas City, game one. What unis? They're going to wear their home alternates. Not, no, we're not going powder blue on powder blue. We could use City Connect at some point. Not using the black ones at all. So we're just going to go with their regular home and our baby blues. And here we go. <clears throat> it's going to be a long day. Unless we play like garbage and get beat early. And let's see, Indiana is playing Ohio State today. And um, that will probably turn out the way most people would expect. And uh, Indiana is going to get a rude awakening today. All right. We don't get the big flashy graphic in the middle of the field because we have a relocated team so they don't have that big logo to put in there so I'm just gonna skip all of this go straight in here we go Alec Marsh did not pitch outstanding his one start against the Yankees so here we go Rosario to start us off and the first pitch is a ball there we go good way to start for us Get through, get through. He's going to grab it. Bobby Witt is a 99, so he is uh, going to be a problem, but we can just avoid him and Pasqu Pasquantino. Uh, maybe Fermin, their catcher. This team is not loaded on the offensive side. They're more loaded on the pitching side. Oh, bother. Got under it. So if we can... Uh, Avoid letting Bobby Witt hurt us. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, we need to take a few more pitches here. <clears throat> Give him up to 10 pitches for the inning. Take a strike, even if it's down the pipe. There we go. Probably would have been uh, early on that changeup anyway. up to at least eight pitches. Good location. There you go. Nice pitch. All right. Battle that off. Count. There we 
go. Thomas is not doing great in the playoffs. He's hitting 133 in the playoffs right now. Ooh, how did I miss that pitch? How did I miss that pitch? All right. We all know what Burns did. Complete game shutout against the Twins in game one. So, Let's see how he gets us going here in this series. Yeah, you and your bunk can take a hike. Adam. Got him. Woo. Just barely. Right. One, two, three, first. There we go. Keep wit off the base pass. Keep people in front of him off the base pass. Recipe for success. All right. Now we need to get <laughs> Willie going. He did hit 30 bombs during the season. So he did his job. He played a solid shortstop. Gave us some power in the middle of the order. Does not like hitting lefties very much, but it's all right. He can do his damage against righties. Yeah, it's going to get foul. That's a ball. Ooh, swung over it. Right over the top. Go battle, battle, battle. <clears throat> Getting under the ball a little too much here. Too high. Lazy flies to right so far. All right, Tyler. You carry this the second half of the season. Can you get us going? And that when you swing at the first pitch. Kobe. Hmm. Bottom drop right out of that pitch. Get through. There we go. First base runner of the game for either team. <coughs> All right, Jared, we got you for your uh, pop in the bottom of the order, especially against righties. Ah. Ooh, got the call. Tried to hold up. <clears throat> there we go. Inside out swing, right through the hole. A little two out rally here. Let's see if Shea can get some power, drive this ball to a gap or better. Nope, topped it. Gotta be more patient. <clears throat> Damn. At least we made him work a little bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have Brandon Lau. So, Lau and Witt are going to be the dudes. Get foul. we got to worry about, well, Witt, Lau, and Pascontino. These three guys in the middle of the order are going to be what we have to control to win this series. Yeah, we can't be leaving balls up. Good throw. 
Thank you. <clears throat> there we go. Good location today. <clears throat> He's uh, locating well. Got him. Backdoor cutter. Dude, you gotta swing the bat. PCA has had a great playoff so far. I mean, I, it's hard to pass up swinging at a pitch like right down the middle. <clears throat> All right, Ahmed. Let's see if we can work the order in, or work the count in our favor. Don't want that. That more middle in. Right there. There we go. Wish PCA would get his contact up because with his wheels, then Butler goes deep this time. Did a high fly his first time, popped it up. He got all of that one. As I was saying, PCA's contact could get up. He has great wheels. He can steal a bunch of bases at the top of the order. Look at this thing. It was gone. Is that 442 at Kansas City? Look how high that ball gets. Light tower power. Look at that. Over the bullpen. Goodness. <clears throat> yeah. Way out in front. What a shot. No, I, don't chase. I know I fell it off, but don't chase that shit. Got the call there. 50-50 ball. Three. Trying to foul that off. Still haven't fixed his spikes. <clears throat> All right, Willie. Can we keep this going? Yes. Just went down and served that into right field. All right, Tyler. Let's not swing at the first pitch. I know, it's right down the middle. Yeah. Try to pull it. Can you get your hands in? <clears throat> it's all right. It's all right. Bam. I can't believe they have Evan Carter. Don't know what they gave up to get Evan Carter. Carter's like rated too poorly on this uh, this roster update that I went with. He's a lot better hitter than what they give him credit for. But that's my biggest problem with San Diego is they do not rate players properly. Got him. <clears throat> Drop that curveball at the bottom of the knees, he even. You guys didn't see last night the uh, Royals traded Brady Singer to the Reds for Joey Weimer and Jonathan India. A little shocking you would trade Singer away, young pitcher. Finally getting better but I guess they figure they need the offense more 
Let's drop this curveball. Ooh. <clears throat> Got him. He wanted a swing. Started the swing. All right. Good throw. Thank you. Nine up, nine down. Let's go. Let's get those sticks going more. Need more. Need more. All right, Kobe. Love me a high fastball. Tried to wait as long as I could. I almost waited too long. Good location, kind of jammed me. Ooh, barely makes it. Got to get Kelnick's contact up. Dude has plenty of power. Hit 20 plus home runs this year, platooning just against right handed pitching, but his average was like 230. So we got to get that straightened away. Uh oh, that might be gone. Back to the track, to the wall, uh, right up against the wall. Wow. Thought I got more of that. Even the crowd did. Yeah, Shay's like miffed. <clears throat> Go. Good throw now. Don't. Thank you. Wow. Could not hold up at all on that one. Good location. Chase. Let's see if we can get him chase the slider. Ooh, just got a piece of that. There we go. Nice foul ball. <clears throat> All right, two down. Chase, okay, that's fine. Ball City. Got him. That's 12 up, 12 down. <clears throat> All right, PV, let's go. Get you on base, wreak some havoc. Nope, not going to do it. Oh, bad throw by Wit. All right, well, never mind. And we'll send him. <clears throat> Get down. Safe. There we go. Now clutch will kick in. 
Well, I think that hurts Rosario. Yep, right at the shortstop. Got to hit the ball to the right side. I'm going to send him. Did not get a good jump. We're just going to keep going because it's either going to be a hit. Yeah, there we go. RBI double. It was either going to be a hit or a double play. Yeah, he was going and he was just going to keep going. So Butler has a two-run homer and a RBI double. So two for three with two extra base hits and three ribs already. All right, Brent, your turn. Let's go. Is that going to drop? Yes, it is. Fair ball. Boom, into the corner. It's going to be a single, and he had to hold up. I don't know why he was holding up. I was hitting L1 to make him run, and he didn't run. That should have been a run. Not sure what the hell that was. Why did he go back? That was down the whole way. I literally was holding L1. So Waka started? No, he pitched in relief last. I'm sorry. I thought he started. But he pitched in relief last last round against the Yankees, so my bad. Oh, stay back and wait. <clears throat> waka, waka, waka. Oh. Junk. Do not strike out here. Terrible at bat. All three pitches, just fucking horrible. Now we need a hit. Just needed a fly ball last out. Last at bat, couldn't even make contact. No. Wait. It was a hanger. Fuck. And there goes the perfect game. Should have thrown the cutter like I wanted to. Reach. What's up, K Money? Hey, first game of the uh, ALCS, man. Had a perfect game going through four and just couldn't make that last pitch to uh, low. go just took that right down the middle he struck out looking twice now
curveball. Sneaks it. Can't believe that ball stayed fair. Make a great pitch. 6-0 on the Raiders. There, there you go. What year are you? Is it first year, second, third? How far are you in? More importantly, who you got a quarterback to draft a good quarterback? Oh, first year. Ooh. All right. Give up a couple of hits, but no runs. Who are you going with the running back? Are you going with uh, Zamir or Madison? I'm sure you're probably spamming Devontae and uh, Brock Bowers. On the receiving side, that's a shot, but he's going to catch it. Watch. No, he's not. Usually they run that shit down. All right, I'll take a leadoff double. It's the first time we made contact off Waka. Too shallow. Nick Chubb, you trade for Chubb. If we'd have done those two outs in reverse order, we'd have a run. Ground that ball up there, get him a third fly ball, would have scored him. All right, PCA, we need a two-out hit here. Hmm. That changeup is filthy, which it was in real life when he first came up with the Cardinals. It made him so good back then. Just trying to fight that off. Ah, okay, I see what you did. Wish they would just give us year to year saves, right? Ooh, there we go. Pulled those hands in. Hit that line drive right past Waka. Now we're up four. Back to the top of the order. All right, tack on runs count, man. PCA didn't have the greatest of regular seasons. wasn't terrible, but didn't have the greatest, but he's been playing great in the playoffs. That was a little bit of a hanger. Wouldn't chase. It's fine. About a slider. Change up. I'm gonna throw everything. Sinker. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, sure. That's fine. That's twice he's tried to bunt, and that's twice we ran his ass down and threw him out. There we go. Didn't get that ball outside. Wanted that outside, not inside. Wanted him to chase and hit off the end of the bat. Oh, 
wants to chase that curveball. Let's see if he wants to change up. <laughs> Almost hit him. There we go. Got him, what, three times now? All right, Butler. Home run and a double. Driven in three of the four. He's seeing the ball well. All right, Brent. Way out in front of that changeup. One one. It's got some distance, but I don't think it's enough. It's going to be just shy of the warning track. It's too high. I it way too high. backed up on me. I was swinging here and it was over there. That was a rocket. All right. Bottom of seven, four nothing lead. Got him. Everything was down, 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 and bust went up and in for a strike. this curveball got him there we go he's already over 100 pitches so we'll probably make this his last at bat or last inning hopefully his last at bat yep Corbin's done <clears throat> we don't want him to be fired for his next start nice Do you see my new park I made for Tampa Bay? I ran out of memory. I already done more to it. <clears throat> yeah. Why am I swinging at that garbage? Nice and high sinker. <clears throat> I was just late. If I get that a uh, little earlier, I've done some real damage with it. Like that. <laughs> oh. 452, 114 miles an hour. We have hit two absolute bombs this game. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bam. Hmm. 
way out in front. Grand Slam can't even tie the game now, so that's good. I like that. Room. Unbelievable. Oh, two lefties. Let's just use Alvarado, not mess around. Got him. Nope. Ooh, just ball missed. One ball, two strikes, you know. Three. Struck him out. Good start, good start. We just start the inning. <clears throat> Struck out the side. All right, and that's how we handle the eighth. And Waka is still in there after 34 pitches. And we swing at a pitch in the dirt. Who's Dennis Mayo? It's Kobe Mayo is my third baseman. Even though it's a five-run lead, we're going to try and get another one. <clears throat> And that's a wild pitch. Go to third. And get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. All right, man on second. Nobody out. Butler's on deck. He's already driven in three of the five runs. He's trying to hit that on the ground to right. Get him over to third base. Again, trying to swing late on purpose. Now we just need to put the ball in play. That's what he wanted me to do the whole time. All right, let's go, Butler. New pitcher, Hunter Harvey. Well, they left Wackett in forever. Oh, get under it. All right, it's going to take a hit from Butler. I'm sorry, hit from Rooker. Not getting him to third base with less than two outs was just not good. Got to execute. No matter what the score is, got to execute. When my younger son was playing on the select baseball team, we had a fall baseball season where I was all over these kids. They were like 13, 14 years old. And that's a line drive home run. What a missile. Adios, Get out of here in a hurry. Anyway, I was all over them about driving in runs from second and third base and less than two outs and getting these two out RBIs as well. And 
they listened because the next year we were we had 30 wins, seven losses, and two ties. And you get ties in baseball because when you play in tournaments, they don't want you playing a ton of extra inning games. Um, they just call it a tie for the uh, early rounds for the seeding. At one point, they were the number one team in Missouri for that age group. So now we had 12 kids go play college baseball and football out of 14. One got drafted by the Cardinals and one got drafted and is the starting catcher for the Durham Bulls. So, ah, good pitch. Rolling up. Good to get Rooker hot. There we go. <clears throat> We're going to bring in Miguel Castro. I uh, activated him onto the roster. You can see a 1.8 ERA and a 1.09 whip. He was not, for some reason, was not on the roster for the, uh, the first round that we played against Minnesota. So I put him on there and took Caleb Ferguson off. There we go. Take a nice, easy first game here. Easy night to finish it off. Three straight ground balls on like five pitches. All right, there we go. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Burns is not allowed to run in the playoffs yet. All right, Butler, two for five with a home run and three RBIs. Rooker, two for five with a home run and two RBIs. Mayo with three hits, including a home run. Pete Crow, two hits, stole two bases. There you go, Burns, 2-0 with a zero ERA. We only allowed three base runners the whole game. And all that occurred in, like, the fifth and sixth innings. All right. Good way to start the playoffs. And the Phillies are up 2-0 on Milwaukee. All right, Brady Singer, newly traded to the Reds for Luis Garcia, who has not pitched particularly well so far. It has one start, but hopefully we can fix that. Royals are going to go back to their whites, and we're going to stay with our blue. They can wear their blue jerseys on the road. All right. See if we can jump off to a 2 nothing lead here and try and shorten this series. It all depends on how Garcia pitches. Uh, the Royals are staying in Kansas City. They might get a new ballpark. They're trying to get them a downtown ballpark. Their current park is in a, a big complex with the Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs with a, just a massive parking lot around both stadiums. And uh, it's out right off Highway 70 on the eastern part of Kansas City. It's not anywhere near downtown, so... They're trying to move them downtown. They built that park back in the late 60s. Still in really good shape. Looks great. Even as, you know, go to a game. I was there a few years ago when Marcus Stroman was pitching for the Blue Jays. I took my son. He's a Stroman fan. Uh, we took him, took him there and saw him play. See over there behind the shortstop where that Nike sign is? We stood in that little section of stands right there for batting practice trying to get a home run ball. 
And then our game seats were in the lower part of the upper deck, right at third base. No place for parking, they'll figure it out. It's not my problem to worry about. <laughs> this this complex where these two stadiums are, they're side by side. It just has a huge, massive parking lot. So what they could do is tear this stadium down and build a whole new stadium for the Chiefs right next to Arrowhead. And then when they're done, they can just move into the new stadium. Or they could build some sort of... Uh, retractable roof that they could put over here arrowhead i tell you what i went to a football game in the early 80s saw the seahawks play the chiefs and it was like november it was it was fucking cold it was wet damp rainy it wasn't raining but it had rained and the wind was horrible we sat in the lower bowl of, of arrowhead and it was one of the coldest stadiums i've been in <clears throat> Not as cold as a uh, Thanksgiving Day game in St. Louis when I saw the St. Louis football Cardinals hosted the Buffalo Bills. I went to see O.J. Simpson when he was not killing people. Um, and he didn't do shit, but the fullback was the one that had 100 yards rushing in the game instead. And it was snowing the whole time, and I was miserable. So we're talking late 70s, so I was like 10, 11, 12 years old. It's one of those things your dad does for you because uh, we used to go games all the time and it's like, yeah, I'm getting tickets for that. Yeah. Yeah, before the St. Louis Rams, we had the St. Louis Cardinals football team. So we had the Cardinals baseball and we used to call them the St. Louis football Cardinals before they moved to Arizona. God damn. There we go. Sit the fuck down. Yeah, the Rams moved here in the mid-90s. They were originally they were the Cleveland Rams. They had the Rams and the Browns in Cleveland. And they had the Cardinals and the Bears in Chicago. And the Chicago Cardinals moved to St. Louis in the 60s. And the Cleveland Rams moved to Los Angeles in the 50s. And then the LA Rams moved to St. Louis in the 90s and then moved back. So. Hmm. Waited a little too long to swing at that one. And then we spend early on garbage. Oh yeah, they were from uh, the early 60s until the late 80s. They moved to Arizona. So the Arizona Cardinals were the St. Louis Cardinals. They wanted a new stadium and they are having trouble figuring out where to build the stadium and finance the stadium, so they left. Unlike the St. Louis Rams, they had a place, they had a, a stadium um, plan in place, but Crocky wanted to move. He wanted to move as soon as Georgia Frontieri died and he took over the team, so he took years to uh, undermine St. Louis by putting a shit-ass team on the field and Killing attendance. That move to LA was all cranky. Money hungry motherfucker. Like he doesn't have enough Walmart money to begin with. I think there's some show. God damn, these fielders are just out of control, man. Foul. 
Chargers used to be in LA too. Back in the 60s, they were the LA Chargers, then they moved to San Diego. They should have stayed in San Diego. I wouldn't mind if they wanted to move to St. Louis. We call them the St. Louis Chargers. San Diego moving to LA, they didn't really have a big fan base in LA. LA is really fickle. Might be one of the biggest might be one of the biggest metro areas, but they have so much shit going on that it's hard to get consistent attendance. Especially for football. Baseball and basketball they do great, but football they just I don't know why they keep going to that damn market. But I'd take the Chargers here. I'm going to move them here. Ow. My daughter's boyfriend looks just like Justin Herbert, except his hair is a little shorter. Chase it. Stop balls are killing me. Here, how about a curveball? Hey, I'd rather he got the hit than sit there and fall off six more pitches. Cardinals should move back. Yeah, they can keep him. We don't really need an NFL team, to be honest with you. Definitely don't need an NBA team or a WNBA team. We had the uh, Atlanta Hawks. They were in St. Louis. They won a world championship, beat the Boston Celtics back in the 60s, and then they moved to Atlanta. Oh, just missed both of those pitches. Damn, they were just fat sliders hanging. <clears throat> All right, PCA, you've been hot, man. Let's keep it going. Get you on base. Get you in scoring position. Try and get you in. There we go. Time to run. Just flip the hat around. See if it'll generate a rally here. He's safe. Go. Oh, my. All right, base hitter in air, wild pitch. All of that, I guess, a run home. See if Butler can drive one again like last time. <clears throat> Speaking of which, let's edit this. This is game two. Tall leads, one to nothing. All right. He's going to catch that. He's got the wheels to get it. All right. Got a little action on the bases at least. Come on, Butler. You got the wheels. Get there. There we go. There we go. 
throw me the curveball instead. I don't know what it is with this team and leading off, trying to get trying to get bunt hits. Robles had two at bats last game that he tried to uh, bunt his way on. This was a very short inning. I got it like that. It's like five pitches, maybe, maybe. Kansas City has not scored in 12 innings so far. He's going to track that down. Hit it good. Didn't hit it well enough. Ah, don't swing at that garbage. Mm, pulled off. No, the Raiders were always from Oakland before they they moved they moved to LA in the early 80s and then they moved back to Oakland and now they moved to Vegas. They they were originally the Oakland Raiders back in the AFL days. In fact, Al Davis coached the team originally at the beginning. I think the team that should be in L.A. right now that would do the best is the Raiders. There we go. That's a double. They want to put the Rams in Vegas and the Raiders in L.A. They probably both would draw well. San Diego back in fucking San Diego. Arizona keep the Cardinals. high fastballs that was a little too high he went down a little lower so i can drive the ball and get in here right there there we go one nothing lead boys and girls one nothing lead hustle get in there and get that double dive there we go kobe comes through again they were the dallas texans then they moved to kansas city then Houston got an expansion team and they became the Texans. Yeah, they were the Dallas Texans and moved to Kansas City. We had the Dallas Texans and the Dallas Cowboys. One was in the AFL and one was in the NFL. All right, I'll take that one nothing lead and easy ground down at first pitch. We've we've had uh, like four outs on like six or seven pitches. Bobby Witt has not done anything this series. We've handled him very well. Here we go. Another easy peasy inning, man. Their hitting is not the greatest. They've got three guys in the middle of the order that you got to worry about. Everybody else we should be able to handle. We just got to score runs. Ah, don't chase that shit. Oh, my. That's three sliders. He has hung to me, and we have missed all three of them. With this batter, Langoliers has had three hangers. 
not the heavy hangers that we all like. Yeah, it's a fly out. It's too high. All right. PCA. Killing it. He's got four stolen bases in this series. No, three in this series, four in the playoffs. Try to pull that. Titans were the Oilers. Yeah, they were. Love you, blue Houston Oilers. Playing in the <clears throat> playing in the Astrodome. Man, Earl Campbell was a beast back in the day. Go on, go on YouTube and watch Earl uh, Earl Campbell highlights. Dude was a load and a half, and he was fast as fuck. What a terrible swing that was. Goodness. When they did, uh, we almost had the St. Louis Patriots because we actually had an agreement to buy the Patriots and move them to St. Louis back in the mid-90s, early 90s, prior to the Rams moving here. And then Bob Kraft came in at the last minute and bought the team, kept them in New England. And that's out of here. I don't know how I missed that pitch. And then when they did expansion and Carolina and Jacksonville came in, um, we were supposed to get the team, not Jacksonville. They kind of screwed us. We were, we're going to have a purple and gold, like Notre Dame metallic gold with purple jerseys. St. Louis Stallions. We had the uh, horse head logo before the Broncos did. So they would not have gotten to use that logo. But they chose Jacksonville instead, which was bullshit. Franco Harris? Yeah, I watched Franco play. I'm going to get there, Butler. To be done 59. I started watching football in the early 70s. So anything doing with the 70s, baseball and football and basketball and shit. I didn't watch the NBA nearly as much, although I did watch Dr. J play before Bird Magic got there. <clears throat> yeah, he was very good. There was one year the, the Steelers had 2,000 yard running backs, their fullback. Rocky Blyer and Franco, they both had a thousand yards. So back in the day in the 70s, the leading passer would not even have 20 touchdowns. And most of the time, they wouldn't even have 3,000 yards passing. Teams ran the ball way more than they do now. Get by him. There we go. Get Willie really going here. He's been struggling. All right, Tyler. I hit last time. Ah, swung right over it. Yeah, that Steelers team was really good because they also had two really good receivers in Lynn Swan and John Stallworth. And Bradshaw, while he wasn't the greatest quarterback, he was a really he was a really good deep ball quarterback. He could throw the ball deep as good as anybody. But back then they did a lot of <clears throat> play action. Like you now everybody's in a shotgun these days. Back then only Dallas was in a shotgun and it was a novelty. Ah. 
Got him. Last game it was Robles, and this game it's this guy with these bunt single attempts. Plus the Steelers had a filthy defense, man. They had great four um, defensive linemen. Hall of Fame middle linebacker. They had great secondary Hall of Fame safety, Hall of Fame corner. They were just loaded. Back then, Dallas and Pittsburgh were just dominant. I absolutely hated when they played each other in the Super Bowl because I didn't want either team to win. That's foul. It's kind of like the Yankees and Dodgers. Now, don't want... Even back then, I saw the Yankees and Dodgers play in a couple of World Series and it's like, yeah, I don't want the, either of these teams to win. <laughs> don't like New York or LA teams. Or Chicago teams, for that matter. Kobe's hitting it well, but we got to get away from these high fly balls. That run Kansas City scored was the first run they had scored in 13 run, uh, 13, 13 innings. Sorry, 13 innings. 13 innings. They've got one run in 13 innings. So, one bad pitch. Oh, come on, Kelnick. Yeah, I don't like Alabama either. Don't like Penn State. Don't like Ohio State. Don't like Michigan. Not really a Big Ten fan at all either. SEC. Just, I don't like to see a team dominate for year after year after year after year. You know, becoming two decades long run. That's just, I know it's actually good for the sport because you have a team that people hate. So they'll watch in to, uh, They'll uh, they'll tune in just to root against the team, and and the the leagues and stuff don't care why you tune in, just tune in, right? But I just hate to see him over and over again. Chiefs, I don't mind the Chiefs. I like Mahomes. Kelsey can fuck off. I'm tired of him and Taylor Swift and their bullshit. I liked Kelsey before, but with the whole Taylor Swift thing, it's just the NFL being manipulative little fucks. I do like Mahomes. Doesn't mean I'm a huge Chiefs fan. I'm actually a Broncos fan over the Chiefs, but the Broncos sold the team and uh, Elway's no longer with the team and I just, I'm finding it a little hard to uh, root for them right now. Hate their new uniforms. Absolutely hate their new uniforms. I really like their last ones. Change up. That's going to be a triple. Because he slows down even though he has 99 speed. Why did Pete Crow slow down? He has 99 speed. I'm pushing him out away from the ball. I'm not trying to cut it off. I'm pushing it towards the wall because I want him to get back behind it. And right about here, he slows down. I'm not trying to pick it up. No one gives a fuck about Taylor Swift. I walk him a snap in the world. All right, we're gonna bring in a new pitcher. He's only thrown 66 pitches, but I can't blow this game. So we're bringing in Alvarado. I really need a strikeout or a double play here. Nah, don't need that. That should keep him at second base, though, because Pete has a good arm. And then he makes a wild throw. That should have been an easy throw to the bag. Look at that. 99 arm with 94 reaction. 71 accuracy. That's why he made the bad throw. 
You need a double play here or a strikeout pop out. Let's get fucked out. That's what we needed. All right. We can get out of this without giving up a run. <clears throat> Dodging bullets. There we go. We need to get you on with nobody out so we can get you in scoring position, get that steal. There we go, just past his glove. That's what we needed. Get him on, steal second base. Get him in scoring position with nobody out. Down. There we go, there we go. I don't care about stack cast. He's gonna try and get it down and in. We need to be patient. We can take a strike. We don't have to swing. One on one. We don't want to do is pop the ball up. Oh, now he got him to third. Full count. Got to put this ball in play regardless. Oh, this is ball four. There we go. Had to hold up because he wasn't sure if he's going to catch that or not. So he doesn't score and that's okay. Because now a double play gives us the lead. Or a sack fly. They're playing in for the play at the plate. So we need to get the ball in the air. No strikeouts here. We need a fly ball. Oh. Son of a bitch. All right, Rooker. Why would you swing at that pitch? You can't do anything with that pitch. Should be two and one. It's going to drop. There we go. Took the lead. I had to wait to see if that runner on first was going to take off or not. As soon as he started running, that means it's going to drop. He ran and then he stopped. And as soon as he started running again, I knew the ball was going to drop. All right. Two on, one out. Come on, Willie. You love righties. Oh, way out in front. Way out in front. There we go. That's a run. Come on, Tyler.
See if he can give you a pitch to drive. Maybe you can park it in the right field bullpen. He's got to come in now. Bases are loaded. Kobe Mayo. Just showed a graphic. He's hitting 667 with men in scoring position. Oof. Trying to golf that. Trying to golf it. Not enough speed to beat that out. That would have got us another run, but that's okay. It's three to one. Got him. All right, got to take him out. Mason's going to come in and try and get a four-out save because we have a day off tomorrow. Oh, I have trades on in this game. There's lots of trades happening. Some weird shit by the computer, too. All right, off to the ninth. At least a three to one lead, if not more. This is to go up two nothing in the series. And we're gonna pinch hit with Yuri. I'm sorry, Esty. Esty's gonna come in and play defense out in left field. So we get speed and defense, and he crushes lefties, at least for contact. Plus, if he gets on, we can steal our way around the bases, too. Oh, might not need to steal our way around. That could be out of here. Oh, on the track. It's stuck in the wall. Pulls that at all. It's gone. All right, Shay. Way out in front. I lay off that low shit, man. Oh, I was terrible at that. Terrible at that. All right, PCA. I know you don't love lefties, but you're not horrible. <laughs> this dude is just an on base machine in this series. My goodness. And we're going to steal second and try and get him in a scoring position again. So maybe a two-out two out rally. 
He's out. Pitch out. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Estes in left. You got to keep this guy off base so Bobby Witt doesn't bat with a man on. Got him. Big out. Stood there and took it. Thank you. No. Hmm. It's way out in front of a hundred and one. Jesus. What's he gonna do with a changeup? Yeah, you can't, can't get him to swing if you don't put it down in the zone. Got him. That's it. We're up 2 nothing, boys. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Update the title. We go into Kansas City, give up one run and 18 innings. Look at Pete Crow. He's up to 455 in the playoffs. Two more steals. He's got five. Our bullpen has not allowed a hit. <laughs> in two games, we have not allowed a hit. All right. Back home to Utah. Phillies are up 3 nothing. Wow. Four to one, six to two, five to two. They could sweep. Well, we could too, but now we get a couple of lefties. Max Freed, who pitched great, 10 Ks and seven and two thirds in his one playoff start. Cole Reagans, 16 strikeouts and 14 innings. He's one and one in his two playoff starts. A couple of dominant lefties. Let's see how this goes. Why is that an alternate? Okay. I figured they'd wear blue. All right, here we go. Game three. Well, it took us um, about an hour and a half to play two games. That's how dominant our pitching has been. So this is our ballpark here. Look, K-Money, this is the park I just made for Tampa Bay. It's retractable dome. So that big flat thing is part of the roof. And it would slide in and cover over the middle. I downloaded this one because I'm going to assign that to our AAA team next year. So when we play in the minors with Logan Fiore, our first round pick from the first year, we'll actually get to play in his real AAA ballpark. All right, partly cloudy. Max Freed. Here we go. Joe Adele is in because 
while Pete Crow has been doing great, Adele's got great power, and we need power against this guy. They won't let you build stadiums in Madden. They did back in the day. Back in the PS2 era. Early 2000s. You could you can make your, in the 90s, you could make your own ballpark back then. You could relocate your team. All kinds of stuff they don't let you do anymore. I wish they would let us, when we create our own stadium, put uh, advertisements on the walls. And I wish they would uh, put the yellow home run line at the top of the wall. Because it's just straight one color. See, it should be a yellow line across the top. It's really, really annoying. They don't give a shit. They don't make any money off the stadium creation, so they don't care. Damn it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that Madden does or doesn't do that's stupid. Just, you can blame old EA. Everything's ass. That's what that stands for. Joe's not going to get there. I don't even think Pete would get that. Where the fuck was that throw? I just threw it to the cutoff man. Why is he making a Superman throw to the backstop? This was a throw to the cutoff. This was not... I wasn't throwing to the base. I hit L1 to throw it to the cutoff. Look at this. He's just throwing it to the shortstop. He just rifles it. This game is so unbalanced. Yeah, I forgot he was on second. I heard runner, runner, and I threw it to second. find my mark with him. We get out of this only giving up one run and a minor miracle. that right by me this guy's definite strikeout pitcher so got a piece of that Couldn't wait. Get down, there we go. Make him work a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Do love a high fastball. Got to lay off that, though. There we go. There we go. Get through. There we go. There we go. Let's keep this merry-go-round going here. Keep him in stress. Now our clutch kicks in. Come on, Sugar Shay. Ball will travel here, as we all know. It's a filthy pitch. Jam the shit out of me. All right, Nick, we brought you in just to bat against left-handed pitching. Base hit will tie this game up. Let's go. Kobe's on deck. He has 42 clutches. Killing it because he's normally at like 80 contact. Fuck, hit him right in the head. At least he's out, but is he hurt? <sighs> All right, we'll bring in Spence. That's why we have him in the bullpen. Only won 13 games, so. And they have their lineup set for a lefty. So that actually helps in that respect. Not even getting through two innings, though. That's really going to mess with our bullpen. And this is the first of three games in a row. So Mitch is going to have to go as long as he can. Just not fast enough. All right, Tyler. I can definitely see Tyler being replaced next year at some point by our number one pick, Logan Fiore. Might not be right out of spring training. Might might have to be sometime later in the season, but I'd like to see Fiore play at least part of the season at AAA. Hmm. 
We'll uh, we'll do some spring training games with Fiore. Although I actually don't need to because he doesn't need to be added to the 40-man roster. Nice pitch. There we go. Thank you. All right. Nice one, two, three inning. Let's go. Sticks need to go here. Come on, Joe. We got you in here for your arm and your power bat. Yeah, in front of that one. No balls, then we're tardy. Sped us up and made us slow for the other one. Still swinging the ball. All right, Rosario. Ninety nine there. There's not a damn thing I can do but break my bat on that one. There we go, two for two. Extend this inning, make him throw more pitches. Maybe we can just wear him down and get him out of the game. All right, Brent. We need a big fly out of you, buddy. At least a double. Oh, tardy. We're looking high. Come on. Gap will score a run for sure. That's not the gap. He's going to have to hold up. Two outs, though. It does give us an extra step on the base pass. They're not going to try and pick you off, so hit L1 and take one more step lead on both first and second base. Oh. Wasn't even a good change up. Oh, 
Is that going to get out of here over his head? Gone! There it is! Ha ha ha! I hate when my cursor is not in the chat bar. That was a line shot. Hung that shit and we hit it hard. That's why Shea's in the lineup, man. Doesn't hit for great average. Isn't the best fielder, although he has a great arm. But line drive shot like that is the whole reason why he's in the lineup. All right. Turn this game around. Now it's three to one. Ooh, Senzel trying to go back to back. Mm. That ball stays over the plate instead of in on me. I hit that ball hard. We used to have a good team. Been slacking off lately. We're going to go uh, a younger route and try to uh, rebuild our our uh, minor leagues, our prospects and everything. They're doing, they call it a reset. It's a fucking rebuild. They're going to trade Arenado here in another couple of weeks or so. I would love to send him to the Yankees to uh, get Jason Dominguez because they don't seem to want to play Dominguez. Dominguez could step right in to play center field or left field for us. and Be a great bat top of the order for us. has done his job since he came in for the uh, injury to Freed. Go, Mitch Spence dealing. Is that can get over his head. No, it is really deep out there. It runs straight across, and the deepest points are like 412, 410, somewhere. They're really deep in those far corners, right here and right over there. Just to the right of the big brick building and the, and the batter's eye, right there. You see where that curve line is, and that curve line? It is stupid deep. Stupid deep out there. All right, Tyler. Let me get this going. A little two-out rally here. Yes, he can. And that's going to be a double. Is anybody with speed? That would be a triple. If that was Esty or Pete Crow. That's an easy triple. All right, Joe. Just find some green somewhere. Don't have to hit it out. Oh, I flinched. I barely tapped the button.
All right. Made him work a little bit. Like one pitch out to start the inning. Good go. Good to go. Good to go. Hey, we had the chance to sign Tatis Jr. when he was uh, much younger. We didn't want to pay him a couple hundred thousand. And he ended up going to the White Sox, who then traded him to the Padres. We, we could have had Tatis Jr., his dad. We also could have had Luis Robert. I mean, all we had to do was outbid the White Sox, and we chose not to. So, I, I will be so happy when the current general manager and manager are gone, especially the GM. Hate both of them. Hate them both. Manager should have been fired two years ago. And the GM with him. No, can't stand them both. They both should have been gone two years ago. They both should have been gone after this year. Manager only has one more, one more year, two more years. I don't know. He just signed a stupid extension last year that he didn't deserve. The GM's gone at the end of this coming season. We've already got his replacement, so they're just gonna keep him around as you know, let him finish his contract kind of thing. But he's not gonna have as much. Influence over everything, but he should be fucking gone. He's such an arrogant, smug son of a bitch. That's a rocket. Right into a double play. All right, sixth inning. How did he miss that ball? Why don't I coach them? They're not gonna, I have no experience. Video game's not the same as real life. They have other people. They could have hired Skip Schumacher, who got manager of the year with the Marlins two years ago. And we could um, we could have had Terry Francona back in the day, but they hired Mike Matheny instead. Oh, don't don't take forever to throw the ball. What was that? Got one. Still got a double play chance here. We don't get the guy at second. If we just throw it to first, then we don't have a double play opportunity. So this still keeps double play opportunity. Ooh, how was that not a strike? And that's going to get a run home. All right, he's done. He did his job.
I'll take that. It's as good as a strikeout. Two outs and they don't move up. Got him. All right. Hold on to the lead. Let's get some runs. Let's get this lead back up. Yeah, I can't remember when we got him. I forgot him the first year or the off season before this year. He's been clutch. Count right, full count. Let's go. Right at him. Right at him. All right. Come on, Nikki. Tardy. Oh, Don't feel tardy. Let's go. That's a rocket. Is that going to be deep enough to get out of here? No. That's how far it is. It's a deep center field. That was absolutely smoked. And that's the whole reason for having Pete Kuro Armstrong in center field for us because he has 99 speed to go track all that shit down. Hmm, got under it. All right. Nine outs to go. Bullpen's got to nail us down for us till we can get another run. Let's see. They got a righty, a lefty, and a lefty. All right, so he's going to stay in again. One through seven pitches. Maybe we can get out of this inning real quick. Took it right down the middle. He's struck out looking three times this series where pitches were just straight down the middle and he took him. All right, two down. Didn't get the call. See, cut her down and away. Cut her up and away. All about sink her down and in if we don't get it. Got him. All right, six outs to go. We need some runs, boys. Need some runs. Alvarado's done. And Reagan's is done. That means uh, Jared Kalnick comes in to face the righty. Yeah, stay back.
terrible late decision to swing. Well, yeah, we play the whole season. We we will play two to three full games on a stream each month and sim the rest, but we play a full season. Franchise, they don't have the option to play a small season. You have to play a full season. Oh, I'm so underneath that pitch. Come on. One, two. Two and two. Keep battling, make him throw more pitches. He's up to ten already. I'm going to bring in Pete Crow for Adele because Adele hasn't done a damn thing. They'll actually improve our defense too. Can't handle that. It's a long way. Just to the edge of the track. Some parks, that's a home run. Not here. Base hit and a stolen base to get you in scoring position. And SD is on deck and he has great clutch. So Let's focus on getting you on base and that's not going to work. All right. Six outs to go. Drew Rasmussen. Foul ball, just barely. How does he pull a low and away slider? Long. Two strikes. Got him. All right, here's the big boy.
Got him. Yes. That's right. Let that scream out. <laughs> All right. SD, if we can get you on. Trying to bunt our way on and steal our way around. All right, Ahmed, let's go. That's foul, just barely. Splitter, that was nasty. All right, Brent, you at least get on base. The wind is dead still, so there's no, no help from the wind. We're, we're helping this guy by not swinging at strikes. Just battling away, trying to stay alive. Splitter got us twice. All right, three outs to go. Got him. Two outs to go. Put in chase. Just got a piece of that. How about this? 101, up and in. One more out to a 3 0 lead in the series.
Good throw. There we go. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Mitch Spence was the MVP of that game. Reed took that one hopper off his forehead. Lasted an inning and two thirds, and he was gone. And Spence comes in three and two thirds, only gives up one run. Bullpen gave up their first hit of the series, but they had eight strikeouts in three and two thirds innings. Let's go look at how dominant our relievers have been in this series. Black guy. All right. Hitwise, Rooker, Pete Crow, Ahmed, Soderstrom, Mayo, they've all been doing well. Everybody else down here is not. Pitching-wise, Burns hasn't allowed a single run in 16 innings. Not even an unearned run. Garcia had a really good start his last time. Freed pitched well in his first start. He's dinged up on this one. Estes, no runs in seven innings. Spence pitched great in relief. Look at this bullpen. So Yarborough had allowed one run in a third of an inning. Alvarado looks like he gave up one run. And no one else has given up a run in the playoffs. And Miller's struck out eight and three and a third. Yeah, no, Freed's going back in the rotation. Let's save this. All right, guys, we are trying for a sweep. Joey Estes and Kyle Wright for the sweep. Let's go back here. Are they playing today? So the Phillies lost. So they're up three to one. So they could they could um, end their series as well. They're going gray. Okay. Here we go. So lineup's been doing well. We're just going to leave him the way it is. Having Pete Crow at the bottom of the order getting on base allows him to bat in front of all of our top hitters in scoring position. <sighs> 53,000 capacity. Utah looking for a sweep. Joey came up. When J.P. Sears was hurt earlier in the year, pitched, made 21 starts, pitched great. Not only made the rotation, made the playoff rotation. It's a strike. Damn right. Got him. Took forever, but we got him. Yeah. 
These guys in there bunt, bunting for hits, man. What's up, CGM? What the fuck? It's an easy ground ball. Why is the computer fucking me all of a sudden? Why why can't the computer just let me throw the ball to first? Look, he's got his feet set. Easy throw. CPU is trying to keep me from sweeping. That's all it is. How you doing, CGM? We're trying to get a sweep here in the ALCS against the Royals and get to the World Series in our first year in Utah. So, welcome in. Get out of the way. Should be three outs. Now, don't let anybody tell you there's no comeback code involved in these games because they're full of shit. The CPU can do stuff that you can't. And then it makes your guys do stuff that the CPU doesn't do. It's just, just balance the game, right? Yeah, this isn't even EA, but I call San Diego EA when they do shit like that. <laughs> there you go, drop. Thank you. And we will likely take on the Phillies in the World Series if we can get through this game. If we don't win this, Corbin Burns will come back and pitch game five. And he hasn't allowed a run in the playoffs yet, so. Looking pretty good. Strauss made it into the show? What do you mean? I think it's stupid that they have females in the game, but you know, I guess they want to appeal to Oh, the helmet ads? Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Uh oh, that's double play because I thought it was down. <sighs> Hit it a little too hard. So yeah, they can include this. <laughs> Must make a good fucking game and keep social commentary and politics out. Alright, we gotta have a better half inning next time. Pitching wise, we've allowed three runs. Make it four runs in four games. That was a long home run. How far was that? Only 392, looked a lot further than that. Never saw the ball come down. I just made a mistake and left it right over the middle. <laughs> yeah, I stopped playing hockey a while ago. It's, my son loves to play hockey, but I don't like the new version of the hockey game. They, they, uh, I can't stop anybody um, on defense. My goalie gives up five goals a game, and we're not even talking for three periods. We're talking like in the first period. <clears throat> I, I just, I love hockey. It's my favorite sport along with baseball, but I can't play the video game. I used to play NHL 95 on Sega Genesis to death. Yeah, they need to keep that shit out of sports, too. 
Why do they keep hitting it right inside the bag? Get him. He's out. Yes. Told you Langleyers has a gun. Actually saw him leave second base. So I was able to pick, and I, I didn't accidentally hit second base to throw it. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Now, let's get this game tied up. Or better yet, take the lead. Man, I had leftover Korean beef right before I went live, and I'm still hungry. I wish they hadn't fucked up the NCAA game, too. I'm really wanting to play football, but I'm not playing Madden. I'm not playing the NCAA. And I'm burned out on 14, so... I don't have much choice. I like to take shots down the field and in the uh, college football game it's just slants and drags and shit like that because you try to throw the ball down the field and it's going to get picked off. Or it's an instant block shed and you're on your ass. I wish they'd just make a game that didn't require 15 fucking patches to make it play like it's supposed to. You know like back in the day when you throw a game in and it would play the way it's supposed to play? didn't need to be balanced and Soderstrom ties this game up just like that Adios, man should have had him up all year I have found that Soderstrom is one of those guys that plays well no matter what his ratings are. Yeah, the pitching is a little bit different this year. I play in Legend on pitching, and I have given up way more home runs this year than I ever have. We're still getting good results, you know, still winning games, but... I have given up way too many home runs. Like, all the runs I give up are off home runs. Because I never walk anybody. Yeah. Should not have swung at that. Should be more patient. But, hey, Soderstrom ties the game. There we go. Nope, not that one. Um, that's not it. That's it. No, it's not going to give it to me. Let's try to get him with his arms down. That's out of play. Yeah, <laughs> you want to see... A shitty ending to back-to-back -back seasons. Here, do do yourself a favor. Go there. Click on playlist, and then go to the New York Jets. I think it's Madden 23, 22. 
It was a sim. It was a sim. I was doing all the games in the sim, and we were building a team. And uh, if I didn't make the wall 10 foot high there, that would have been a home run. You don't need to watch anything. You can watch it all if you want to, but all you need to do is go to the last game of each season, the playoff game. So the very last episode on the playlist, and then the last episode of the season before that. <laughs> you can watch the whole game if you want to, but all you need to do is watch the very last play of both playoff games. Actually, the, the second one, you need to watch the last two plays. Um, and you'll know why I stopped playing Madden. Fourth and 16. <laughs> Shit. Well, they got the hit sticks out today. All right, let's try and limit this to one. What is this garbage? And what is this throw? Got it. All right. Survive some bullshit. Let's try and get those runs back. How did I miss that pitch? Yeah, that was off the end of the bat. No, go lay down. Go on, lay down. You don't need to go out. Notice everything I hit is right at them, and everything I hit lands just in front of me, just out of my reach. That's the bullshit I'm complaining about, where it's not balanced.
No, not the Titan. It's, uh... Should be the last playoff game for each season. The Steelers... Um... Hold on, let me see. Season play. Let me see. Season six and seven. So each season, the regular season was a, a stream because we were simming. And then we would do the playoffs and then the off season. But I didn't do a, a season seven off season. So it's the last video on the playlist, which is season seven. And then season six playoffs and off season, those two. Yeah, I had, I had Jimmy and Lou and George and a bunch of people in here. Specta, I think Revamp, a bunch of these guys from the NWO are watching that and just amazed at how bullshit the game is. All right, we need some runs. Give a shit about Statcast. Just give me the next batter. <sighs> Be nice if you would throw a pitch higher than my shins. It's going to get caught. It's like the deepest part of the park. Missed the second home run. All right, that was a low pitch count inning. We got to get going on offense. Let's go.
Gotta work the count on this dude. Get his pitch count up. Ah, swung a ball four. God damn it. Need base runners. Swing it strikes. What the fuck are you doing? Why is every computer pitcher a fucking hockey goalie and knocks everything down? Never goes through their legs. It always hits them. Should have hit that a long way. You're late. Of course, the 99 speed guy gets on base. I kind of know what better I can do pitching wise. Three, six, one. Thank you. Yeah, it hits their pitcher, but it goes right through mine. Or when it does hit mine, it knocks him out of the game. <laughs> Just make the game balanced. Mm, way out in front. One ball, one yeah, I pulled off on that one. Good time. Again, late.
Ugh. Shit was left right over the plate. Hanger. Hanging slur of waiting to be killed. All right, Rooker, it's your turn, buddy. You've got to tie this game up, man. Pitcher's getting towards the end here. No, oh, come on. Recognize the pitch out of his hand. Two out magic, maybe, maybe. All right, Willie. Let's see if your clutch kicks in here. Nah. <laughs> yes. Ooh, almost went back to back. All right, we got nine outs to get. We need some more runs. No. Thank you, tight spot. That was clutch. We needed that. We haven't been able to do shit until that inning. Hit the home run by Soderstrom, and then we had a few other weak hits outside of that. So the single, the single... Bam. Ooh, swung right over that. All right. Three run bomb. Love it. Pitching defense and three run homers. That's Earl Weaver's philosophy. And you're done. He's pitched in every game of the series, I believe. No, maybe not. No, yeah, he did pitch in game one. Game one yeah. Hey, slid into the bag and got the out. There we go. All right, six outs to go. We pounded this guy. 
Let's see if we can do it again. Need one or two more runs. Oh. Surprised they didn't call that a swing. All right, Jared, you're due, man. <laughs> I told you he was due. a vicious line drive. Look at this ball. It doesn't get very high. Alright, I asked for one or two. Ooh, he hooked it. Inside the inside the bag, he's not getting to the corner though. We'll take a single. All right, Petey, your turn. Not deep enough. Just a high, lazy fly ball. Wind is blowing straight across from foul pole to foul pole, from right to left. So. I really want to get it up in the air to left field. Ooh, just missed. All right, we got one. Go to the eighth. Kelnick, huge. Bam. That's why we brought him in. Yep. And um, Rasmussen and Miller. All right, one down. Two down. I gotta wait until they throw the ball. I can't just assume he's gonna make a good throw. All right, three outs away from a World Series in the first year at Utah, boys. Three outs to go. Couple more. Can we get two more runs? You guys like this ballpark? Isn't it beautiful? A day and night. That really got in there and ate me up. <clears throat> All right, Rooker, you had a big hit last time to keep him any alive. Ooh. 
<laughs> Thought I fell that off, guess not. All right, Willie. Only hit of the game could be the game winner. I might be mistaken, but I think we would have home field advantage in the World Series. I think the American League won the All-Star game. We play the Phillies, though. They have no Alec Bohm. He's out for the year. And they have uh, Spencer Turnbull, a pitcher, is out for the year. All right. Here we go. Back foot slider. Got him. Two outs to go. Two outs away from the World Series, boys. One out away. Let's go. One out away. No. Two strikes. One strike away. Chase a slider. Yes! The Avengers are off to the World Series, boys and girls. Unbelievable. We had to win our last six games of the season to catch the Rangers for the division title. Otherwise, we were playing the Yankees in the first round. Wow. Three home runs. Estes, I mean, pitched well. It's some bullshit happening in one inning. Again, three more, no, back basically perfect pitching innings in relief. Four Ks and three innings from the bullpen, no base runners, none. Our bullpen has been fucking ridiculous in the playoffs. All right. Phillies? Phillies? Yes. Taking on the Phillies.
Phillies won 95 games. They tied for theirs and ended up with a wild card. Let me save this first. I always like two backup in case one gets corrupted. All right, Phillies won four games to two. Wow. All right, pitching rotation. Corbin Burns, Luis Garcia, Max Freed, Joey Estes, Corbin Burns, Luis Garcia, Max Freed. And we do have home field in the playoffs. Zach Wheeler, Ranger Suarez, Christopher Sanchez, and that would be Aaron Nola. All right, Wheeler, Suarez, Sanchez, Nola. We have Matt Strom, who was their closer. Ryan Kirkering, Turnbull's hurt. Lang, Kirby Yates is a uh, 74. So their bullpen is nah. Real Muto. He's only going to face one lefty in this whole thing. Harper. So we got to watch Bryce, right? Stott. And he doesn't have a lot of power. This guy crushes lefties. 99 clutch, 99 contact. They haven't used him yet, though. Bohm is injured. He's got a torn labrum. He's out. So they're having to go with J.D. Davis at third base. They have Trey Turner. Schwarber. Look at that contact against lefties. Randall Metz. Austin Hayes, who loves to pound on lefties. Brandon Marsh. Who we got to worry about Marsh because we got a bunch of right hand pitchers. Rojas has great speed and clutch and excellent defense. Nick Castellanos is hitting 130. So, we have Rooker, Rosario, Armstrong all hitting over 300. Shea, 286. Soderstrom, 286. Mayo, 269. Everybody else down here is not doing great. Um, Five steals by Pete Crow. Pete Crow leads the MVP vote for the National League playoffs. JT in the American League. Looking at the Phillies. The Phillies didn't go to the World Series, didn't win the World Series those two years. So, all right. I need to save again because uh, I advanced those dates. All right. So, um, let me see. When can we play the World Series? It's not going to be tomorrow. Will not be tomorrow. Um, I need to check my wife's work schedule because I'll just do it when she's not home so I don't have to deal with it. Monday. Monday. We can do the World Series Monday. And we can do the off season on Tuesday. She's working from 1230 to nine both days. So we'll do the world series Monday. We'll do the off season Tuesday. Off season would include spring training. So, um, so let's shoot for one o'clock central time, both days. All right, we are done. So let's go raid out. Who can we raid? 
you guys have anybody that uh, you want me to go raid? Because I, otherwise we'll go, we'll go raid Yofi. He's playing Total War. No one's really on right now. So is anybody even still in here? I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like it's just, just uh, me and Tight Spot Inspector right now. Yeah, there was, we had like, I don't know, we had several and they all boop, ran out as soon as we finished up the series, so. Put Shano's name in the thing, how it's spelled, and we'll go raid him. And then, uh, I need a snack on something, I'm hungry. Get that up. All right. Raid has started. When you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. And um, I will catch you guys Monday at 1 o'clock Central. Have a good rest of the weekend. And thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, go Utah, all right?